Hello, my dear kids. Very good evening. This is Sundar Ravindranathan here. Hey guys, how is everybody? I suppose your exams are going on or over for almost all of you, right? So we are towards the fag end of what we call the Pariksha. So from the coming week, our summer camp is starting, guys. So be all gunned and geared. You will see a lot of very interesting posters and clippings and over the course of this week. So watch out. All right. So be in touch with the channel all the time. Look out for very interesting communication. That is, I am sure, going to excite you. Good evening, Shreya. Hi, Saisha. JCS Creative Drawings. What are you talking about? Madhav Krishna, all the best here. Great rock and roll. Okay. All right, guys. So, what are we going to deal with today? There are, you know, two sessions of Pariksha remaining for Grade 7. Today will be one. Most probably, I'll try and cover it tomorrow or day after. Okay. So, mystery of the talking fan, dad, and the cat on the tree. The funny story. Meadow surprises, very inspiring story, and garden snake. How harmless that garden snake is all about. So, four poem come story is what we are going to deal with today. And then we are off to MND. Cool? Ready, all of you? Yeah. Babu Muttachi, hi. It is going on for you. Ria, hi. Welcome back. Ria, this, we are currently revising four interesting stories today, which is a part of the syllabus for grade 7. Moving on. Hey guys, what, what exam is there coming? I'm sure. Is everyone registered for what? By the way, let me understand it. Janmajay, if screen is not clear, please adjust your pixels to T144 or 60. Then you will see the clean screen becoming clear. Sometimes when it's in auto mode, automatically screen will become blur whenever your network is a little slow. Cool? Okay. So guys, exam. It's not just an exam, guys. It is a comeback for all the learning that we missed during 2020. You will see how. First take the exam. So I want all of you guys, all the young wonders to register for this. Then to motivate you, there are so many things, right? Scholarships, prizes, so many are there. Okay. You can even get, to, you know, become CEO of Vedantu for a day, guys. How does that sound? Lovely, right? More than that, lovely, lovely prizes for all of you. So don't miss it. Just take it up. I'm sure you guys are awesome rock stars here. You will win. Okay. You will win a lot of prizes and a lot of scholarships. All the very best. Look at that kid showing you that. Okay. By the way, guys, I'm just uh, hiding my screen now for a minute. Now I believe all of you are able to see that, right? So what to do for registering? So you can download Vedantu Car app or visit the vdnt.in slash vdntyw. Young Wonders vdnt.in slash vdntyw telegram link is vdnt.in slash vote 57 so make you i hope all of you have noted it down shambhu is asking sir new session cup start Oga. new session will start in may entire april we'll be running a lovely lovely summer camp for all of you okay shambhu i hope that answers it Yes, yes, I am awesome. How are you? So, guys, how to vote? Go to that uh, site. All you have to do is when you register, it will ask you certain details. Choose it. Get your vote ID card. Come on, guys. You are having your voter ID card. Wow, wow, wow. Kids can even vote at Vedantu now, right? So, exam format. So, typically, exam pattern is SMAT. All right. 40 questions are there. Marking pattern. Every right cast question, four marks, negative, minus one. 60 minutes is the time duration. This is for grade five to seven. So what are squads? You can, you know, create your own squads. Squad is nothing but a clan or a group that you create within your circle. Right. So you can create a squad, participate in it, earn a lot of Vedantu coins, V coins. All right. And that way you earn a lot of chances. If you earn so much coins, they are like coins. 
the more the coins, the better the prices that you get. Make use of it. Okay. So guys, go to the Vedantu app. You have all the details there. Or visit vdnt.in slash vdntyw. Now, today we have four interesting poetry come stories. I am starting. Guys, I am going to start with the first one. Give me a yo. Let me start. Hi, Raja Lakshmi. Guys, these kind of vote related initiatives and all, we are doing it wholeheartedly to help all you kids. That's why everything comes free. You know, the entire attending the vote free, voters ID card. It takes so much pain in that. Make use of it. Alright, create a group. Bring all your friends. It will be fun and it will be learning for all of you. Cool? Yes, uh, it is there, beta. It is there. Menti quiz is very much there. Hey, but Srija, why are you crying? Why are you disturbing your mom? Manish Deep, what is your question, beta? Right, first question. So, first, uh, sorry, poem. Mystery of the Talking Fan. It's a very simple poem. So, the poet is all about, uh, you know, he's, this poem is about an electric fan that makes a lot of noise. The poet says, you know what? What is this fan trying to say? Why is it making such a lot of noise? He says that I could not understand why there is so much noise. What is this fan trying to say? Right? One day, an electrician came and put oil on it and suddenly, all right, the movement of the fan became smooth and silent. And that's how the mystery of why the fan was talking got solved. Looks so simple, right? But in a poetic form, it is not simple. It's super interesting. Okay? All right, guys. So, it is so, again, the poet, the electric fan in, their, in his house makes a lot of noise. He wonders. He thinks, I can't understand why is this fan making a lot of noise. One day, an electrician came, put oil in the motor. And then the movement of the fan became very smooth and silent. That way, the mystery of the fan got solved. Why the fan makes noise, it was solved. First question. The phrase, talking fan, is what? Is it a verbal phrase or a participle? Question for all of you. Guys, is it a verbal phrase or a participle? Thank you, Vandana. For a minute, whenever I'm in flow, I forget, you know, to, I forgot to bring back my video. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Hi, Lakshit. You're from Nepal. Good. Everyone is saying verbal phrase. Wow, you guys are good. Good, yeah. So, two. Proposition. Fill it up with a proposition. The boy was beaten. Dash a stick. By a stick. With a stick. Which is the right one? This is a sitter. I'm sure you're going to nail it so simply. So tell me guys, Lakshit is saying, oh my God, this is super simple. Am I right? Am I not right, Lakshit? Bye, 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 bye. Who is that bye? So many are saying bye. The boy was beaten by a stick. The stick came and bit him, is it? No, with the stick. The boy was beaten with a stick, guys. Come on, bye will never come. But that was tricky. So now, chapter number two. Dad and the cat and the tree. Guys, this uh, look at that cat. The dad's situation was exactly like a cat in this point. You know what? One morning, a cat got stuck in a tree. The way in that picture shows. The narrator's dad, he said, no, no, I will go and take care of it. I will rescue the cat. The narrator's father decided to climb the tree. His wife already told him, no, you don't do that. You might fall off the tree. All right. He ignored her warnings. He climbed the ladder, slipped and fell. Yeah. So once he fall, he said, no, no, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to try again. Again, his wife was warning, don't do it. You, you will fall. This time also, he swung himself up on a branch. The branch broke again. He fell. The narrator's on. He wanted to rescue the cat. He fell twice. He said, no, I'm not going to give up at all. Now the father, he said, he climbed the garden's wall. Luckily, this time he didn't fall. However, the moment he got into the tree, 
cat came to the ground, jumped to the ground safely. Poor father, he got stuck on the tree and the cat was down now. So it's a very funny poem. Yeah. Hey, Darwin, come on, yes. In poetry, the way I look at it, nothing is right and nothing is wrong. So, what type of poem is this? Is it a serious poem? Is it a humorous poem? I'm sure you know it, but still, I want to check it. What type of poem it is, guys? Serious or a humorous one? Come on, come on, come on. Pick it up and let me know. Sanjay is saying, sir, I already read about that. Everyone, Torsha, Danvin, Narayanamma, everyone is saying, Sir, it is humorous. And yes, it is. The right answer is humorous. The poem is a humorous poem. Now, the third, you know, article. Fill it up with the article. Dash modern life. All right, it's stressful. A, a modern life is stressful or you don't need to put any article at all. Come on guys, let me know. I would want to see that. Let me see what you guys say. So everyone is saying, sir, why should we need, why do we need an article here? Modern life is stressful. That's fine. Are you guys sure about that? See, there are, see a lot of people. Narayanama, Ananya, Jisha, everyone is saying, sir, A will come. A modern life, guys. A will never come. Especially when you are starting the sentence for life. A modern life? No. Right? No article will come. So the right answer is that. Okay, guys. Guys, from 29, that is from Monday. That is which is, you know, uh, coming Monday. We are starting our... Studying what? We have just started our academic season, frankly. Yeah. So Vedantu has brought in a lovely subscription for all of you. A subscription which is going to give you unlimited live classes, a great chance to study from all our master teachers, and unlimited live classes, fun quizzes, fun learning. And anytime you want to watch replays, you want to compete with your students, you become super strong in academics. That's what we does. And whenever master teacher give you notes, you can download those notes. And any number of doubts can get, you can get them solved in the session. And to check your comprehension, periodical tests and assignments as well. Guys, all these things now, the start of the academic year is the best time for you guys to go for it. I have seen it in front of my eyes. So many thousands of students getting benefited out of this. Make use of it. 5,000 plus micro courses are also there. And if you're preparing for competitive exam, even crash courses are there. The details are pinned to your description box. Note that down. Right? So look at it. The coupon code to get a, you a discount is SRPRO. SRPRO is the dis, you know, coupon code. Guys, you hardly pay 8 rupees roughly per class. Come on here. Yeah. 8 rupees per class is, you know, it is like, not even like a, a, a pack of lace, right? Less than that. Make use of it, guys. Because it's a lovely subscription. I know the features and I can vouch for it that you will definitely see a drastic improvement in your academics. Because I know the quality of our master teachers. They are simply superb. And more importantly, they are dedicated to our students. They want every one of you to win in academics. And they know how to make learning simple and fun. Alright? So the details are there in this link vdnt.in slash ytpro the coupon coup, uh, code to get a discount is srpro right chapter 3 now <clears throat> meadow surprises m-e-a-d-o-w meadow surprises yeah the meadow offers several surprises to the one who has an eager eye to look at the meadow Okay, so walking on a soft, velvety grass, the sound of the brood, butterfly slipping nectar. So, all such sights in that grassland, this gives a lot of happiness to anyone who looks at it. 
these sights are no less than nature's gift right so walking further you walk on that meadow all right you see one may find a rabbit hidden in the grass you will not figure it out instantly but still suddenly when the rabbit hops in front of you you are right so you will see that the rabbit is scared similarly a dandelion that was golden all right a couple of days ago would also bloom dandelions are beautiful golden flowers so one could find several houses in the meadows look at that picture guys wow 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 that's the kind of world and place where we want to live in right there would be burrows in the ground nests beneath the tall grasses mounds for ants so many supporting life for all living beings for every person there would be some or the other surprise in the meadow the, the poet narrates it so beautifully that anyone who reads that poem you know you want to live there that's the best part of it so the first question on the meadows the butterflies are busy doing what sucking nectar making nests Oh Chaitanya, lovely, 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 beautiful. He has created a squad already. Wow, guys, everyone, I urge everyone to create a squad for yourself. Put on your friends here. Come on, it will be super fun. All right, everyone is saying sucking nectar, which is absolutely right. Question number two, synonym. What is the same word for look? Synonym words what? Word with similar meaning, right? So what is the same word? A word with similar meaning as look. Is it glance or gobble? Glance or gobble? Everyone is saying glance. Come on guys, you guys are good here. Your vocabulary bank is strong. Yeah? The right answer is glance. The final chapter before we jump into a mentee. Guys, all of you gear up for the final chapter and for a mentee now. Garden snake. Guys, can you tell me is a garden snake uh, harmful or harmless? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know how many of you have gone through this, but still I want to check it. A garden snake. Sometimes it is, uh, it might not be this big generally, but yes. Is it harmful or harmless? Wow, everyone is saying harmless. Are you sure? Snake, guys? Yeah, Albert Einstein is saying, sir, harmful. Sanjay, the question is, is a garden snake harmful for human beings or harmless? Is it dangerous? Hmm, everyone, there are few who are saying harmful. Most of you are saying harmless. Let's see. The poem Garden Snake is a simplistic description of how harmless that creature is. The young child narrator who narrates the poem, he sees, you know, encounters, he sees a snake in his garden. He runs away from that place out of fear. But his mom, he says, you know what, not all snakes are dangerous. Garden snakes, they feed merely on insects. They will never come or disturb all right, they will never disturb what? They will never disturb human beings or others. It just fear feeds on insects. So now the young child loses his fear. Thereafter, he starts observing the snake whenever the snakes go through the garden. Now guys, the first question. Why does snake kills insects? Is it because the snake hates them or the snake eats them? Hates them, eats them. Resuming, right? Come on, come on, come on. So there are a few who say eat them. Yeah, almost all of you. Hi Chaitanya, wow, good, good, I saw that. Keep it up. Guys, not even one says eat them. I know because the question is so simple, right? The snake eats those insects. So that's why 
uh, because it feeds on them, so it has to kill them. Now, opposite word, antonym. What is the opposite of the word awake? Is it asleep or awake? Wake, awake, or asleep or awake? Asleep or awake? The antonym for the word awake. Yes, Harshwardhan, you are right. So, there are a few who are saying A, there are few who are saying B. This is surprising. Are you sure, guys? Wake? Already he is awake. Wake is a verb. Right. So, both of them mean the same, but, uh, you know, yeah, the parts of speech is different. Wake is a verb. Wake up, right? Asleep is the right answer, guys. Is he is awake? No, no, he is asleep. Right? Awake means he is, you know, he has woken up, he is all awake. Asleep means he is sleeping. Right? Liana. Oh wow, Shreya, congratulations, great job. Keep it up. Liana Hop. There if you know it happens in batches. So depending on your batch, those set of lovely master teachers will be allotted to you. So choosing teachers depends on which batch you want, you are in. So yes, and a Nemo is my answer. If you which whatever batch you choose, right? Depending on that batch, depending on your timing and that batch, specific master teachers will be coming. Clear? Okay, guys, are you ready for a mentee now? Give me a yo now. Come on, come on, come on. Ujwal, Sri Datu, everyone is saying mentee, mentee, yeah? Sajid. What happened? Why are you so angry? Okay. Right, guys, moving on to Menti now. Guys, I want all of you to open a browser window like this. A new browser window. Don't close YouTube. Let YouTube be alive and awake. Type, go to a separate browser tab or a window. Type in the address bar, type www.menti.com. M E N T I, menti.com. Okay? Hi, Kavya. So go to your browser, type www.menti.com and press menti.com and press enter. It's going to ask you, please enter the code to enter a code. So that means what's the code? The code for today's menti is 1550 4312. Sumeda, no beta, I have come to my native. I keep shuffling. My family is here, right? I can't be there without seeing my my daughter, my angel. 1550-4312. Vandana, it is in clinical acupuncture. One five five zero four three one two. Sanjay excited for Menti. Yeah, let's see. Questions are simple, Sanjay. Don't worry. I'm the guys. It's a question of who's doing it fast. As simple as that. I can tell you that. Ready? Guys, 30 more seconds. First question is going to hit your screens. Be ready. I am also refreshing the page now so that I don't miss out on anyone. 
refreshing the page now. Lakshit wants science class. Thank you, Shreya. Jitender, hi. Oh, Vira Raghav and Shashadri, you have your English test tomorrow. Good. All the best. Do well. All right. Here it comes, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, time is our first question. Hitting your screens now. Manoj, it is just starting. What treatment was given to the chattering fan? New fan was bought, motor was changed, whirling motor was oiled. Which was the right answer? Come on here. I am sure you guys are rock stars to nail this question. No one is going to get this wrong, I know that. Everyone is bang on. Guys, come on, how come so many people said new fan was bought, motor was changed? Someone is taking revenge on me. 43, you know, when the electrician came and oiled the motor, it became smooth and silent. That's how the mystery of the talking fan got solved. So one question is over. Where are we now? Taeyong, Parnika, Torsha, Shivam and Danwen. Top 5. Aditi, Rajalakshmi, Bhargavi, Arpitan, Hitanshi. 6 to 10 guys. Jungkook, hack sir. If you are hacking, I will block you now. Change your name right away. Don't hack. Whenever you win, you got to win ethically here. Come on. Just kidding, okay? Oh, hi Jitender. Question 2. Degree of comparison. This is the trash dress I have ever seen. I have ever seen. That means what? Beautiful, most beautiful, beautifulest. This is the most beautiful dress, right? Good. Most of you got this right. Super later, most beautiful, right? Degree of comparison. So now, Taeyong, Tanwen, Aditi, Torsha, and Parnika, top five. Arpita, Shichet, Kartek, Shivam, and Aparna. Bottom half of the leaderboard, six to ten. Question number three, five more to go. On your screens. Madhav Krishna, great job. Dad thought he was what? A superhuman, an expert climber, smartest man. Now, tricky. Let's see what you guys, unless you've gone through the top poem, you will not be able to get this. Expert climber, how many of you say? Not bad, not bad. You guys got through it. 59 of you got it right. Hasini, we are done with 8th, right? Completely. I did, uh, first I completed Shiksha. Then we did one uh, complete Pariksha revision. We also did a complete revision on uh, sample papers. Then I have done a Mahamenti. So we have done so many revisions also, guys. It is done. Teyong, Torsha, Aditi, Shritaj and Arpita, top 5. Kartik, Naim, Dwara, Kritanshi and Raja Lakshmi. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 respectively. Question 4. Hitting your screens now. Linking words, Sam lived in France for two years. Dash, he can speak French. So, or, and. Wow. So, he can speak French. So simple. So, is a conjunction here, right? Uh, it's not a conjunction. Yeah, it's a linking word, a connecting word. Teyong, wow, not ready to give up. Teyong, Tarsha, Kartik, Aditi, and Harsh. Top 5. Vibor, Shiva, Martita, Hitanshi, and Raja Lakshmi. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Guys, a quick reminder. 
the description box has a link for a lovely subscription to go go through the subscription the link is vdnt.in slash yt pro the coupon code to help you get an amazing discount is srpro so you are going to spend around eight rupees roughly for per one class so so less that too for the quality of the teaching and the features that you're going to get in the subscription go for it immediately look at that vdnt.in slash yt pro and the coupon code srpro lovely so question number five three more to go here we go question number five question number five and the meadow offers surprises like what let me see sad animals pale flowers wild plants the meadow when you walk on a meadow you can see you get a lot of surprises sad animals pale flowers wild plants See, now people are saying, I think so. It is wild plants. Few of the plants are also coated there. 21 of you got this right. Okay. Now it looks like Taeyong is at the top, followed by Harsh, Hari, Madhav, Tasha. Top five. Kartik, Kaditi, Justin Bieber. Why should you put I don't like here if you don't like Vibor and Shivam? That is question six. Just two more remaining, guys. Here it is on your screens. <laughs> oh, Varam, it is you. You don't like him. Then it's okay. You should think about people whom you like here. This time tomorrow, I dash on the beach. Will be lying, will lying, I am lying. Which tense will come? Guys, look at the option. Only one fits. All others can't fit. Option A. How many of you say I will? Yes. Most of you. Bang on. Taeyong. Harsh. Madhav. Vibor. Aditi. Top 5. Kartik, Shivam, Raja, Lakshmi, Arpita, and Jagridi. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Guys, question 7. Only one is remaining. Be on your toes, all gunned and geared. Come on, let's see who's going to win. Ready, ready, ready. The mother told that a garden snake was dash. I know the answer. Everyone knows the answer. Dangerous, harmful, harmless. What did the mother say? Aap kaha rehte ho, madan. Right now I'm in my native beta. Harmless, it is harmless. So, Taeyong. Oh no, look at that. Taeyong went down. Hatsu is also gone down. Now looks like mother is at the top. No, Taeyong still has a big lead. Wow. That's saving him. Madhav, Vibor, Kartik, Aditi. Top 5. Shivam, Harsh, Rajalakshmi, Shrichaj and Sneha. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the final question. Here it is. Lakshit, who is the owner of Vedantu? It is not an owner. We are founders. It's a thought. Vedantu is a thought, a concept, a revolutionary initiative taken by three people. Alright. So Vamsi Krishna, sir. Pulki Jain sir and Anand Prakash sir. All three of them are the founders of Vedantu. Cool. Question number eight. Kritu, hi. Model verb. Which model verb will come in there? He has to get dash traveling in crowded bus. Used to, can, must. You know what? It's a good question, but the options are so simple that you will never choose the other two. Used to. See, still there are 34 of you who got the wrong answers. He has to get used to traveling in the bus. Crowded bus. Adjective. Taeyong, Madhav, Ma Taeyong wins, guys. Taeyong is winning the quest today. 
followed by Madh uh, Kartik Harsh Madhavan Shivam. Congratulations, Tayong Jankok. Good job done. Kartik Harsh Madhavan Shivam. Great job. Top five. Aditi Shetesh Vibor Emelyn Dwarak. Great job done, guys. You guys are part of the leaderboard. Great job. Congratulations. So, guys. There could have been so many of you got the right answer, but you could not get it to the leaderboard. It is fine, guys. You guys are still rock stars because you got it right. You just need to be fast, more uh, faster, frankly. So now, guys, the best way where I where I understand that you guys are liking it when you hit the like button. So hit the like buttons now and show me that you like these kind of sessions. You like the stories as well as the questions, and yes, fun learning. Come on, come on, come on, guys. Do it now. And yes, please, anyone who has not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe because I'm sure the coming offerings, including summer camp, are super duper interesting for all of you. Okay? So, looking forward, guys, from Monday is going to be rocking. It will be raining surprises for all of you. Great. Great, Kapoor, Manesh. Gaurans, thank you, Naomika, Aryan, every one of you guys, lovely, lovely me interacting with all of you. We have one more session probably. I'll wind that up tomorrow or day after, and then we are off to a summer camp. Ready? Here we go. By the way, whoever is attending the exams, all the very best. My best wishes to all of you. Keep rocking, guys. You guys are rock stars. Rock and roll. All right? Thank you so much, guys. Have a lovely evening. This is Sundar Ravindranathan signing off. I will meet you tomorrow. Bye-bye.